Hello, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. It is on this 4th of July cut crease. Um, and also I'm using a very affordable cruelty-free palette and it might be a dupe for the James Charles Morphe palette. Look at those colors. So if you'd like to see a very in-depth step-by-step um, -step thing to do a cut crease then please keep on watching also make sure that you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell bookmark my page I upload a video every single day of the week plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I would love for you to be able to come on back and watch whenever you would like let's go ahead and get started okay so I hope everyone has a lovely 4th of July tomorrow if you do celebrate it so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my Ofra um, gel um, primer and this stuff is awesome I really do like it a ton and it really helps to make your shadow last but use whatever kind of eye primer you like whether it's concealer or um, another eye primer it's totally up to you this is what I like and this is what I have um, for the longest time I did use concealer so they both work great so but yeah just get that blended out give something for your um, shadow to stick to okay so I'm gonna be using the changeable fantasy eyeshadow palette I did get this for nine bucks on Amazon I'll leave an affiliate link below anyway this is supposed to be kind of a dupe for the James Charles palette so I'm gonna go ahead and use this so I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be doing a cut crease for you guys today so kind of killing a couple of birds with the same stone so I'm gonna show you how to do a cut crease and I'm also going to um, do a little mini review of this palette okay so the first thing I'm gonna start with is this beautiful I think red color I think I'm gonna do that shade and I'm going to I'm using a small pencil brush because I really, really want to control this color. So what I'm going to do okay, is I'm just going to gently kind of stamp it a little bit above my crease, almost putting it where I would put a transition shade. Okay, And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wing it out just a little. I know it looks messy right now, but we are going to blend it. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit lower into the actual crease. Okay. But this palette is awesome. It's cruelty free. It's extremely pigmented. Okay. And it comes with... I can't remember how many shades. 36 or 38 shades. It's great. So... Once again, I'm just kind of stamping it along a little bit above the crease. And this matte red is absolutely stunning. So you can do whatever shape of cut crease you want. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another shade and I'm going to gently start blending right up here to kind of get that transitioned into my actual skin tone. And what I'm actually going to go in with is this really pretty shade right here. Okay, it's a little bit warm, so it's going to go with the red. Um, but it's going to just gently kind of work that red into my skin tone. And I'm just going right on the edge of it. Okay. That's the whole entire thing with eyeshadow is... Unless you're going for a very, very dramatic kind of editorial look, you always want to get things blended. And it definitely takes practice. I'm not even the best at shadow. There's some people, you know, either on YouTube or on Instagram that do beautiful, beautiful looks. But it's all about the blending. That's really what it's about. Okay, do you see how that looks a lot better than this? It's a little bit more blended. It's more transitioned. You can definitely go back in with that red if it's not bold enough for you. Cut creases definitely take practice. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush and I'm just gonna reinforce a little bit of that red. 
just, just gonna punch it up just a little bit more. That way you can really tell that it's red. And we're gonna be cleaning up with a makeup wipe and everything, so there we go. So I think that looks really nice. Okay, so um, cutting your crease, okay? You wanna use a concealer or some kind of light base for your skin tone. Obviously, if you're um, a woman of color, a person of color, use a concealer that you would use to highlight underneath your eye. I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Fair and Warm. It's very light. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the back of my hand. And what we're going to do, okay, is you're going to get a very small flat brush. So this is a very, very thin flat brush. And I'm going to coat both sides of the brush with concealer. And what you're going to do, okay, is you're going to act like you're putting on thick eyeliner just on the inner portion of your eye. Okay, so what I do is you're just going to do a thick line, okay, like that. And I know I've done this trick on camera before. Okay, so now you're going to look up and kind of move your eye around, and it should stamp a line up on the eye. Okay, I can feel it. Okay, so, I'll go ahead and do a little more. I think this concealer might be drying down too quick. Okay, so do you see how it kind of stamped a little bit of concealer right there? That's where I need to cut. That's where I need to get my brush and kind of follow that line. Okay, if you do have a hooded eye, meaning you don't have a lot of eyelid showing when your eyes open, you want to go a little bit higher so you give the illusion of having more of an eyelid. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a full cut crease. I'm just gonna follow the line down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another shade down. You can do a matte or a shimmer. I'm gonna do a shimmer today. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna be using, I think, this pretty shimmery blue. I'm gonna be using my finger at first. And as we get closer to the actual, like, cut, the crease, we're gonna have to go in with a small brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with that same foundation brush, that little brush we used, and I'm going to pick up some of that blue shadow, and I'm going to get really, really close to that cut, and that laid down. So I'm just following that line. Okay, so that is our cut crease, okay? So I'm gonna hurry up and we're gonna do some liner, some eyeliner that really, really helps to make a cut crease come together. And I'm just using some black matte liquid liner and then I'm gonna clean up the eye with you on camera and then I'm gonna go off the um, camera and do the other eye and do some face makeup. I'll show you. Okay, so 
I don't want too much liner on my brush at first. And we're just going to do a nice wing. Okay, so there we have some liner on. I'm going to grab a makeup remover wipe and I'm going to do a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my finger on the wipe and I'm going to just clean up this edge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and step off camera do the other eye, put on some foundation and all that kind of stuff. I'll be right back. Um, we'll toss on some lashes and finish off the under eye. Oh, so obviously I got the other eye done and put on foundation, powder, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I already put mascara on the top lashes because I need my lashes to dry before I put on fake eyelashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and start in on the bottom lash line. I'm going to go in with that red that we put um, above our crease and I'm going to get this smoked out on my lower lash line. I'm gonna go a little bit lower so that way it's a little bit more dramatic and I'm gonna meet the eyeliner. So, and I'm going to actually kind of bring it underneath the liner so that way I'm kind of connecting it to the red that's on the outer corner of the top eye. And this is really gonna help just bring the look together. It makes it look a little bit less weird. So, uh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on the lower lash line now. And then we'll do some lip color and then I'll pop on the lashes and the look will be complete. So. The Revlon Color Burst, color burst Lip Gloss and Fire. And. Heck yeah. You can definitely go with a nude, you can go with matte, whatever you want. This is getting very dramatic very quickly, but that's how I roll. So I'm going to be using the Cara Beauty 100% Human Lash Lashes, um, and these are in Wispy. They're really, really beautiful. Um, they're just a very kind of natural looking lash, but they're really, really nice. And I'm just going to be using my Duo Lash Glue. I'm going to speed through this. Um. Okay, so here is the finished um, 4th of July cut crease. Um, it's just going to take practice. Um, you can use whatever color combos you want. The most important thing is having a small flat brush to kind of cut that crease and um, to apply the shadow really, really close to that cut so that way it looks good. Um, it's just going to take practice. Um, I definitely love the trick of applying a very, very thick line of concealer and then looking up. That will really, really help to get that stamped where you need it. I learned that trick from Michael Finch. Um, he is an awesome YouTuber from Australia. I will link his channel down below. He is absolutely amazing. He's a great, great person and he's funny. Um, so I will leave his channel linked below. But yeah, um, is it perfect? No. Um, but I think it looks really, really nice. You throw on a pair of lashes and some eyeliner and really it, it looks really, really good. So I really, really like this. I hope you enjoyed this kind of in-depth tutorial on how to do a cut crease and the little mini review of the 
changeable fantasy palette. Really, really nice palette. Very, very pigmented. It is cruelty free. Um, and it is good for 12 months, but really, really nice shadow palette. Like I said, I will leave it linked down below. It will be through my Amazon affiliate link, but very, very cute eyeshadow palette. Lots of neutrals and lots of brights, and I really, really, really love this look. So I hope you love it as much as I do. If you do enjoy this look, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to share this video as well. Leave a comment down below. What are your plans tomorrow for 4th of July if you do, if you do celebrate it? Um, and let me know what you think of this look down below in the comments. And you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a budget glam, babe. And I will see you here in just a second. Another video should start playing, or you can always click on one of the ones that's surrounding me. So there we go. I'll see you here in just a sec.